In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a bacterial smear for acid fast or Zeal Nielsen staining. Let's put on our goggles before we start. Howdy. Okay, first we're going to prepare our microscope slide. I'm going to get ready for differential staining by creating a slide with three circles on it. In that first circle on the left, I'm going to put my positive control, my acid-fast known organism. And in that third circle, the one on the right, I'm going to put my non-acid-fast negative control. The unknown bacterial sample will go in the middle. It's a good idea to flip that slide over so the wax is on the bottom. That way the wax will not mix with my bacterial sample and it's an easy way to tell which side of the slide is the top side. Whichever side you can scratch the wax off on is the bottom. It can be helpful to label a paper towel with the names of the samples you'll be using for this slide. I'm going to use uh, Mycobacterium smegmatis on the left as my acid fast control, Staphylococcus epidermidis uh, on the right as my non-acid fast control, and my unknown will go in the middle. I'm going to take a dropper bottle of water and put a small drop of water in each of those circles. This is what I'm going to mix my bacterial samples into. Now my slide is ready for the bacterial samples. I'm going to start by transferring Mycobacterium smegmatis, my acid fast positive control, into the circle of water on the left of my slide. First, I need to sterilize my inoculation loop or wand. I put it into that micro incinerator hub for five to 10 seconds. Uh, before I can obtain my bacterial sample, I will need to also let that loop cool another five to 10 seconds. Then I can take my cooled sterile loop and gently run it across the medium to obtain a colony of mycobacterium. Mycobacterium is waxy, so it's going to be difficult to mix that into the water sample. You might get some chunks, so just take a little extra time to try and break that sample up and spread it evenly in that water droplet. Then I need to sterilize my loop. I do that between each step. Next, I will obtain my non-acid fast, my negative control, and here I'm using Staphylococcus epidermidis. I take my cooled sterile loop and I just gently grab a colony off the surface of the media. I'm going to mix that sample into the water droplet in the circle on the right. And again, that's my negative control, my bacteria that does not have a waxy coating. I sterilize my loop, let it cool, and then I can obtain my unknown bacterial sample. Again, I gently move my loop across a colony in that unknown sample and mix that into the water droplet in the center of the slide. And then I'm going to sterilize my loop one last time. It's now time to heat fix my bacterial smear. Now that my slide is all prepared, I am going to put it on the platform on top of the micro incinerator. That will deliver heat that will kill the bacteria 
and stick it to the slide. When my slide is heat fixed and ready for staining, those droplets of water will be completely evaporated, usually about five minutes.